Hello, I'm here with, uh, I'm, I'm delighted, more than delighted to be here with Ingrid Newkirk. She's the founder of, of course, of Pita. Do you say Pita or Pita? Pita. Pita, because in Germany we say Pita. And uh, you made a testament. I did. I made a last will and testament about my body and what should happen to it when I die. So what, uh, for those who haven't read it before, could you maybe mention one or two items out of the testament? I'm trying to divide up the pieces of my body so that I can still be an activist even when I'm dead. And for example, um, my liver I want to send to France for a protest because they force feed ducks and geese, as you know, so that their livers become enlarged, and that's foie gras. So I'd like my liver to go to France to say, would you eat this? Um, I also want parts of my flesh to be barbecued. Maybe in Texas, wherever barbecue is, is, is popular. Big, yeah. And fry up some onions, so that people who are attracted to the smell of frying onions come over to eat, and then they know it's, it's my flesh. And then people can say, yes, flesh is flesh. What's the difference? Why are you attracted? And that they'll say, I don't want to eat that. You say, why do you want to eat any of it? Um, a third thing, and there are many things, because I have lots of parts, is my feet. When I grew up in India, I had an elephant, my family had an elephant foot umbrella stand. And my feet are fairly small, my legs are fairly small. But I want to remind people that animals aren't artifacts. You can't just take bits and pieces for decoration. And so I want one of my legs at least to be an umbrella stand. Which, which shoe size do you have? <laughs> it's probably very small. It's, yeah. it's pretty small. But do, would you expect that people would be so like, twisted around and then they say, yeah, let's, let's eat the liver and let's eat the meat. And do you expect that or do you really expect that people clash and understand what you, what you really want to tell? It's uh, a number, each piece is a conversation piece. It starts a debate and some people will make fun and some people will be nasty. And I think some people will be thoughtful. And unless you have a religious objection, then I believe it will make uh, a conversation that will result in some thoughtful answers. And the points I'm making, even though they're gimmicky, are very solid. That flesh is flesh, and that we're not here for ornamentation. And that at least I'm a volunteer. Yeah. Okay, and you said that uh, you, at least you're thinking about the possibility that if you don't die in the United States, in case you don't die in the United States, that probably um, I could do the job or I should do the job. I, I may. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I die in Europe, um, it's a bit inconvenient to get the body to California, perhaps. And so it would be lovely to know that I have someone that I trust who is vegan, animal rights, and who would look after my remains and use them in the way I wish them to be used. And for that, I do need a pathologist. I'm a, okay, I'm a forensic uh, biologist, but that will be good enough, I think. So here we have the pledge, Ingrid Newkirk, and uh, you're sincerely. Okay, I promise to do it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>